everyone. Welcome. Welcome to Storytime in Sea Club. Well, yesterday we had no clue. I said at the end of the day, Oberon, you didn't give us a clue. And he just shook his head and said the clue was there all along. We just didn't see it. And there it is back there. The clue is a picture of Tilly. And today is Tilly's birthday. And the story we're going to read is Tilly and the Wall. So let's get started. The wall had been there ever since the mice could remember. They never paid any attention to it. They never asked themselves what was on the other side, or for that matter, if there was even another side at all. They went about their business as if the wall didn't exist. Oh, those mice loved to talk. They chatted endlessly about this and that, but no one ever mentioned the wall. Only Tilly would stare at it, wondering about the other side. At night, while the others were asleep, she would lie in her bed of straw, wide awake, imagining beyond the wall, a beautiful, fantastic world inhabited by strange animals and plants. We must see the other side, she told her friends. Let's try to climb. They tried, but as they climbed, the wall seemed higher and higher. With a long, rusty nail, they tried to make a hole to peep through. It's only a matter of patience, said Tilly. But after working an entire morning, they gave up, exhausted. They had not even made the smallest dent in that hard stone wall. The wall must end somewhere, Tilly said, and they walked and they walked and they walked for many hours and they never came to the end. One day, not far from the wall, Tilly saw a worm digging itself into the black earth. Oh, how could she not have thought of this? Why couldn't they dig through the dirt, the dirt and get underneath the wall? Full of excitement, Tilly began to dig and she dug and she dug. Oh, and she kept on going. She was so brave until suddenly Almost blinded by the bright sunlight, she was on the other side of the wall. She couldn't believe her eyes. Before her were mice, regular mice, just like herself. Oh, the mice gave Tilly a great welcome party. They took her to their celebration rock. Uh, she was so excited. They made speeches in her honor and they waved flags. Oh, and then, then they decided to go through Tilly's tunnel to see for themselves what the other side was like. One by one, they followed Tilly. And when the mice on Tilly's side of the wall saw what Tilly had discovered, there was another party. The mice threw confetti and everyone shouted, Tilly! 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 And they carried Tilly high in the air in triumph. Well, since that day, the mice go freely from one side of the wall to the other, and they always remember it was Tilly who first showed them the way. What a great, great story. Tilly, Tilly was a great, great person. And we're going to sing, we're going to sing to her in a few minutes. But I should read the votes, right? Let me get the votes out. All right, here we go. Here we go on May 13th. 
for the chocolate people, we have Graham, Audrey, and Lila, Riley, Ben B, Patrick, Hannah, Martha, Allison, and Maeve, Vanilla. We have Kira, Miles, Jackson, Joseph, Bevy, Henry, Haley, Alice, Clara, Molly, and Annabelle. Let's count the chocolate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve chocolate. Eleven vanilla. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So close, but chocolate is a little bit more. All right, so now let's sing to Tilly. Ready, everybody? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tilly. Happy birthday to you. All right, very nice. So Oberon, are you gonna trick us again with the clue? No, he has a regular clue right here. Here it is. Okay, everybody, imagine what tomorrow's story will be. Thank you, thank you, cameraman Dan. Thank you, Oberon, and thank you, everybody. And remember, I love you all very, very, very much.